Hi, I'm Shirley Caruso, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build in some action buttons and work with the Slide Master. So now that you have built in your hyperlinks that will take your learner to these various sections of your course, it's important to give the user some availability of action buttons so that they can go back and forth between these various sections of your course. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to put this slideshow into play and let's say the user chooses to go to module 2. Once in module 2 and once you have built in some content the user will do what you have asked him or her to do in module 2. But then what? How does the user go back to the dashboard or the graphical user interface or how does the user go to the review section, for example? We can build in some more flexibility for the user by giving them some navigation buttons. To do this, we're going to go to View, Slide Master, and when you get into Slide Master, it looks like everything that you have built so far has disappeared, but that is not true. This is a temporary view of your slides. You want to make sure that you are clicked on the very first slide. You're going to say Insert Shape. And at the very bottom, you're going to find some action buttons. And PowerPoint has already anticipated some of your needs that you may want the user to go to the previous slide, the next slide. Maybe you want the user to go all the way to the beginning of the slideshow or to the end or to the home, which is usually your graphical user interface. So let's put in a few of these buttons. Insert. And we draw them wherever we want. Here's the home button. And it asks you, do you want to hyperlink to the first slide? And I'm going to say yes. I can say OK to this. So here's my home button, and I suggest you put them in the lower right hand corner because PowerPoint already has some navigations that are built in, and they are activated by mousing over the lower left hand corner. So we don't want to get these too confused. And keeping with my theme of black and white, I'm going to change the color here. I don't want it to be completely black, so I'm going to undo that. I'm going to do a shape fill, maybe. Let's see. Okay, I like that. And besides going to the first slide in my show. I would like the user to go to the previous slide or the next slide. So I'm going to go to Insert Shapes. I'm going to build in a previous button. And it's going to go to the previous slide. I'm going to go to Insert a Next button. as well. And let's see what else is available to me. I want to build in a custom button because I want the learner to be able to end the show if he or she wants to. So I'm also going to build this in. It asks me what I want to hyperlink to. I don't want any of these, but I do want this one, End Show. That's what I want this action button to do when the learner clicks here. But I'm going to have to give it a label because as it is right now, the learner won't know what this button means because it's blank. So I'm going to double click on it. And I'm going to type the words and show so that it, when it is clicked on the learner will know the 
font is a little bit big, so I'm going to go to home and I'm going to decrease the font size just a little bit so everything fits in that button. Then I'm going to view grid lines so that I can line these buttons up very symmetrically. And I think I want the end show to appear very last, so I'm going to move it over. And the shape fill so that these all match. Shape outline, I'm going to say white. Move this one over just a little bit so that they're evenly spaced. And as you work on your tutorials, you may very well uh, end up adding some more of these action buttons as you see appropriate. But for now, I just want to show you uh, what working in Slide Master has accomplished. So let's go to view. Well, let's close Slide Master right here. And then let's put this in presentation mode, F5. And now we can see the buttons that we have just built are along the bottom here. And for instance, if I say go to next slide, it keeps scrolling through the course. I can go to previous slide. I can go to home, which is the graphical user interface. Or I can completely end the show which takes me out of that presentation view. And you can see that every slide in your show has those buttons now incorporated. And if you want to change them, you're going to have to go back into view slide master, because other than that, they can't be altered. You must always go back into the slide master view to change them. If you decide that you want to add some more slides to your show, every slide that you add will automatically put these buttons in your, in your slideshow. Now let's say that you did not want these buttons to appear on the first slide of your show. What you can do is go to Insert Shapes, draw a rectangle over them, You don't want any action associated with those, but what you do want to do is change the color to match the color of your background. So we're going to change this to white fill with a white shape outline. Now those buttons are behind this shape and they will have no function when this tutorial is in presentation mode. They do not even show here, and even clicking around here does nothing. I hope this tutorial on how to add in action buttons and work with Slide Master has been helpful.